I, I mean, so though, of course, this show's got its kind of supernatural elements and the kind of science fiction aspect to it. You two at times seem to have come straight out of a kind of classic detective tale. There's something so overly and beautifully cinematic, I think, about the role of a kind of detective. Is it quite fun to play up with that and be given this kind of freedom and space to be quite overstated in some ways? Oh, I mean, it's great. I mean, to kind of, uh, and 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 that it's a, on, on a global stage. I mean, the fact that he's kind of on the trail of this, the spate of this uh, suicides that are going on, on in, the, in the scientific uh, world, just something is not awry. And, um, and, it, and, it, and it's, you know, it's a bit kind of like a sci-fi sci -fi Columbo with a dash of Liam Gallagher swagger. And uh, it's, um, it's a fantastic character that's been created and um, a, a sort of new sort of reiteration through uh, Dan, David, and Alex, and um, yeah, I love I, I love the story, and and um, happy to be in it. Yeah, because I mean, Liam, obviously, you know, you've worked in in, in these in the world, but having been in game of course, uh, when having that much success with a show and having it have such a kind of big impact and a positive impact on your career, when you get that call from kind of showrunners or writers or producers about another project, does it just become an easier yes to give? Oh, it was a very, very easy yes on this. I was, I was lined up to do another job. I hadn't said yes to this other job, thank God. Uh, and, I, I, and obviously David and Dan got wind of it, and Alex, and I got a phone call saying, uh, you're not going with, with those people, you're coming with us. And I said yes, without even knowing what the project was. Hmm. And it wasn't until I kind of hung up, I, I kind of went, that could have been a week's work or two days work, something like that. But luckily enough, the scripts came through and I saw that uh, it was this um, incredibly interesting, enigmatic kind of character um, of Thomas Wade. So yeah, it was an absolute joy. Uh, there's, uh, Any time those guys call, I'm going to say yes. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'm just sort of looking at this sort of too too deeply, but do, do you think this show goes kind of some ways in reminding us of our kind of shared humanity? I always find a real sense of of togetherness after watching anything where humans have to kind of come together to fight outside elements. It kind of connects us in a strange way. I find. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a there's a there's a reason the vast majority of the human race live in cities. We, um, there's obviously the convenience, but we like being around people. Um, and we've all, we've all been at one stage or another, found ourselves on our own or at the end of a relationship or whatever it may be, just somewhere who isolated. Uh, loneliness is an awful thing and the humans get lonely. We crave the company of others. Um, and quite rightly, you, you know, I think it's, it's, the, uh, it's where love comes from. And, uh, and uh, th I th what you said earlier on about humanity coming together, that's a, a large part of our drama, is the need for humanity to come together. And you can apply that, that metaphor, or whatever you want to call it in our show, to any number of divisions that are going on at the minute, and, you know, and the mistrust of science and, uh, and uh, you know, the, and the mistrust of many people in authority and stuff. We need to come together or our demise inevitably will follow. Mm. Yeah, we need to start trusting ex experts again. Um, but do you do you both believe there there could be life out there? Maybe not in the form of the show, but just you know in some capacity. Well, it's the pale blue dot, isn't it? You know, with something much much bigger. What are the amazing facts you were remembering about? <laughs> I'm, Cox. I'm the math guy. Yeah, he's <laughs> my fact button. In uh, our galaxy, Milky Way <laughs> is an is a, an average sized galaxy. There's bigger galaxies and smaller galaxies. In our galaxy alone, there's about 100 billion stars, 100 billion of our sun. In the visible universe that we can see from where we are on the planet, there is an estimated 2 trillion, that's 2,000 billion galaxies. So the idea that there isn't any life on any other planet is incredibly narcissistic. Uh, it would be statistically uh, virtually impossible and mathematically impossible that, that the, the, a similar set of circumstances set up life on another planet. Uh, we are all chemicals, you know, and we are all made of stardust. We, you know, uh, all of the, what is it, hydrogen and nitrogen, whatever the, the, 
the uh, most uh, hugest elements that are in the universe. We, we wouldn't have come together without the explosions of stars. We are made of stars, our, our essential elements. Uh, so that has got to have happened somewhere else in the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!